Now let us take few more examples of non-deterministic push-on automata. Assume the language which you have is a raised to power n, b raised to power n, such that n is greater than or equal to one. Union a raised to power n, b raised to power two n, such that n is greater than or equal to one. This is the first language. And assume the second language is a raised to power i, b raised to power j, c raised to power k, d raised to power l, such that i is equal to k or j is equal to l we have these two languages and for both of these two languages you cannot make a deterministic push push down automata you have to make a non deterministic push down automata right so obviously you can say that non deterministic push down automata is more powerful than deterministic push down automata because in case of non deterministic push down automata we are accepting more languages therefore some languages deterministic push down automata is not possible okay so the first language how can you do it better way is to make something for this make a push down automata for this for this one what is a push down automata it will be uh, initial state is assume it is a okay then on the state a if we get a, a and there is a epsilon this z not onto the stack you put push this a onto the stack now you can get any number of a's you get if you get a then push everyone onto the stack if you get get 1 b and the stack is containing a then you move it you can get any number of b's the stack is containing a you pop them after that if there is a epsilon z not then you accept it this is for the first language and for this language the second language I already told you that there are two methods. Either you can push two a's instead of one a, or you can uh, after on every even b you uh, pop one a. That we have done. So, but still, for the second one, let us assume we are going to draw it like this. This is the state a. If you get one a, z not is onto the stack. Push two a's. This is f. Every time you get a a. A is onto the stack. Push two A's. As soon as you get a B, A is onto the stack. Pop it. You can get any number of B's. You get A onto the stack. You pop it. If it is epsilon Z not, leave it at Z not, and you accept it. Right. This is for both of them. Right. In both the cases, you can see. Either this should be there or this should be there. So obviously, for the first symbol, we can have a two transition. So better way to draw this complete, uh, better way to draw this one, this uh, complete DFA, uh, sorry, this complete push down automata, is uh, that we have to combine these two in such a way that I we can get a non deterministic. We don't worry, but this language should be accepted. So how can you do it? You combine these two states. So this is a state and this state. You combine these two states and you make one initial state. So there is an initial state which is a. On this initial state, if you get a, a stack will be containing z not. You push it. And the second copy is if you get a, a stack is containing z not. You again push it. Right. So here we made two different transition for the same symbol. And the one which is going to assume a correct transition is going to accept that particular string. Already seen this. Now, in the second case, in this case, either a should be equal to c or b should be equal to d. Either a should be equal to c or b should be equal to. Therefore, we are going to make two uh, push down automata, which will be representing a should be equal to c, and second will be representing b should be equal to d. So, how can you do it? Assume this is the initial state a. In the first push down automata, we are going to assume that a is equal to c. So, it is if we get a a. Stack is containing z not. You push it. You push it. We go to the state b. Now you can get any number of a's. Stack is containing a. Push them. As soon as you get a b, here you can say i comma j comma k comma l. All of them are greater than or equal to one. If you get a b, 
stack is containing a leave it as as it is because we are only comparing a with c here in this case now you can get any number of b stack is containing a don't do anything as soon as you get a c stack is containing a pop it you can get any number of c stack is containing a pop them as soon as you get any number any d stack is containing z not you leave it at z not and you accept it and you can get any number of d stack is containing z not you leave it at z not and you accept it and the second copy can be like this if this is the initial state if you get a stack is containing z not then we are leaving it at z not because here we are going to compare b and d you can get any number of a's stack is containing z not you leave it at z not don't do anything as soon as you get one b stack is containing z not you leave it at you push that b onto the stack as soon as you get any number of b's stack will be containing b you push them if you get one c stack is containing b don't do anything you get any number of c stack is containing b don't do anything as soon as you get a d stack is containing b pop it you can get any number of d stack is containing b pop them if we get epsilon symbol stack is containing z not leave it as z not and you accept it so this is also a non deterministic push to auto which is accepting the above language okay i hope uh, both of them are clear and there is no problems in this if you want me to explain it more please let me know right if you let me know then i will uh, explain it again i hope but still i am imagining that this is clear and you will not be facing any problems in case of push down automatons see everything matters on practice if you do enough practice then you will be able to understand it what you can do is you can refer a book which i found interesting that is puntum baker uh, you can buy it on amazon or flipkart everywhere it is available or if you want to refer a standard book then you can refer peter lins peter lins is also a very good book there are other local author books also like we have kl p mishra we have uh, different publishers whatever you like see it doesn't matter what book you follow the only thing which matters is you should be able to understand every concept still i am going to explain every concept the first preference you can give to my videos because there is only 40 to 45 days left for gate examination and uh, you will not be able to complete any book which you start at this current moment unless you are already preparing before you will not be able to complete any book okay so better is uh, let us do one thing let us go through these videos first go through these videos after every every day i am uploading the videos every day i am recording the videos so complete the those daily videos and for those daily videos go to the book refer them do practice problems and again come back to the next session okay so let us move on to the uh, some language some examples of languages which uh, which we will see whether it is a, uh, a regular language or it is a context free language or is a context sensitive or not right now we will not discuss about context sensitive we are going to discuss whether it is a uh, you know regular language whether there is a deterministic push down automata therefore it is a deterministic context free language or whether this is a push down automata which is possible right that is it is a context free language right so we will try to identify them and then we move on to the next topics one of those those topics is pumping lemma where we are going to identify whether any given language is regular or not 